a few years ago, we had uh, two in-home providers that were working with a family that had two kids uh, that we were serving at the same time. And the parent started frying shrimp or, or sauteing it or something like that. Uh, turns out that one of the providers was um, allergic to shrimp and started to not be able to breathe, like it just being in the air, and they had we had to rush her to the hospital. They had to use her EpiPen on the way. So, you know, and, and she had only, she, know, she, knew she, was she knew that she had eaten shrimp before and had a severe reaction. It had never come up in any other circumstances. And yeah, and they didn't even know what mom was cooking until she's like, um, what? I'm having trouble. Like, what is, what are you cooking? I need to go. <laughs> so, you know, sometimes it's best if we just avoid the food just so that you don't have a surprise allergy that you didn't even know. What did you cook this with? Oh, I tossed in a little bit of blah. And I mean, you know, there's some of that kind of stuff too. Like you don't necessarily know. And my dad, and some of this may just be, you know, my, my growing up, my dad it, was a food and drug inspector before he um, retired. So we didn't get to eat anywhere because he knew how everything was made. <laughs> he had been backside of every like oh restaurant dad, and canning thing. Yeah, it's well, like, it yeah. <laughs> so like the fear of other people, like who knows what, like he wouldn't let us buy like, um, like when somebody does like a homemade bake sale kind of stuff, we couldn't buy it. Even if it's at the church, because he's like, you don't know how they cooked that stuff. They might not have, like there could be raw eggs in there and it's not cooked all the way. So you never know, okay? Just don't eat other people's food. 